Hello, in this tutorial I will show you how to use shape hints to improve transitions in animations in Flash. I have this very simple um, animation with the letter L and it's morphing to a letter E. So I have a, this um, shape twin already created. So what I do is actually create a text field and then I type down the letter L and then I separate the block so I can actually select everything. Then I just create a shape twin. So as you can see the transition is not really good. So for that reason I'm going to use the shape hint just to define the areas where I want the transition to start and to end. So in order to insert a new shape hint, I need to make sure that I'm in the keyframe number one with my first stage, and then I'm going to modify and shape, and then add the shape hint, or you can use Control Shift H. Now I have my first shape hint, which is a letter A, and it's in red, so that means that I have to uh, place my first hint in the the area where you want to and now I can go to my final stage of my transition and then I use the same shape hint and I can place it in the final point notice that the, the, the shape hint changed color to green so that means that it has been set up properly so actually if I test it now it actually looks different. So that's what I'm going to do with the rest of the sides of these letters. So I'm going to define it so I can decide how I want the transition to be. So now I'm going to insert another shape hint. So once again, and now it's letter B, and I'm going to leave it in this side. And then I go to the final point, and then I click and drag. So notice that it's stuck on the corner of the letter and it's in green so that means that it's been set up properly so I can test again okay so now let's add more points for my letter L let's modify shape add shape hint my letter C go here to my final point, click and drag, and then again. And once again, I insert another one, modify shape for this corner here, and then I go at the end and insert on here. Now I can go back to the first one, and then again, shape insert. Add, add shape hint and then we we'll go at the end and then I can this one here so as you can see the transition is better now so it looks more smooth and it's really good you know so this is a good way to actually improve transitions between different objects just to make it look better and all this is with the use of shape hints. You can use as many as you want or as you need. Just try not to make it too complicated. Okay. So if you want to remove any of those, just go to modify again, shape, and then remove all the hints. Or you can add more if you want to.